G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. I'm Josh. In this video, we're going to be using the elimination method to solve simultaneous equations that involve three variables. So ones like you can see here. We have three equations and they have three variables, x, y, and z. And the way we're going to do this is as follows. We're going to, by combining, reduce these equations down to two equations that involve two variables. And that will then allow us to use the elimination method on two variable two equations to reduce down to one variable and go back from there. So as you see, this is how this works. So the way that we're going to do this is as follows. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to combine two of these equations here. So the ones I'm going to combine is equation one and equation two. And you can see that by doing this, if you look at the z variable, we have negative z here and positive z here. These guys are going to cancel each other out and we're going to be left with an equation with only two variables, the x and y. So let's do that. So if we were to combine these guys, 3x and 2x gives us 5x, and positive 2y and negative 3y gives us negative y. The z's cancel each other out, negative z and positive z cancel each other out, and this is equal to 11 plus 7, which is equal to 18. So we have our first equation, which has only two variables, x and y. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to combine two other equations, but the one we have to combine it has to have this third equation in it in order for this to work. So we're going to combine equation two and equation three here. As you can see, if we consider the z variable, you can see that this is positive z and this is negative 2z. So what we're going to have to do is we are going to have to multiply this entire equation by two. So if we were to do that, this is what we would get. So we would get 2x times two, which is equal to 4x minus 3y times 2, which is minus 6y, and positive 2z, this is going to be equal to 7 times 2, which is 14. Cool. So the equations now that we're actually going to be combining is the modified version of this second equation that we have down here. So let's go through and let's do that. So what do we get when we do that? I'm going to write the answer underneath. So 5x plus 4x gives us 9x. Positive y minus 6y gives us negative 5y. Negative 2z and positive 2z, well, they cancel each other out. And this is going to be equal to 12 plus 14, which is 26. So now, as you can see, we have two equations here, the ones that are in blue. And both of them have that we have two variables. They have the x variable and the y variable, as you can see. So now what we can do is we can combine these two equations and what we can do is reduce down to only one variable. So let's go through and do that. So if we have a look at our two equations, I'm going to eliminate the y variable, okay? And leave, only leaving us with the x here. So the way that I'm going to do that, if you have a look, we have negative 5y here and negative y here. So if I multiply this entire equation by negative 5, I'll end up with a positive 5y which will cancel out down here. So I'm going to give the result of that down here. So let's do that. Uh, what do we have? We have 5x times negative 5 is going to be negative 25x. Uh, minus y times negative 5 is positive 5y. We also have 18 times negative 5, which is going to give us negative 90. Cool. All right. Now, that means we can go through and eliminate, because as you can see, these guys are going to cancel each other out. What do we end up with? We end up with 9x minus 25x, which is equal to negative 16x. And this is equal to 26 minus 90, which is equal to negative 64. Okay, easy to solve. 16, well, negative 16 goes into both of them. So we end up with x equals 4. And that's the very, very first variable that we managed to solve there. Now what we do is we're going to substitute in this into one of our equations that has two variables, the x and the y. We're going to find out what y is, and then we're going to use our answers there and substitute into one of these equations, and then we'll have all our answers. So let's go through and do that. So first off, let's substitute x equals 4 into one of these equations. Let's put it into this one up here. Okay, so we have x equals 4. This is going to be 5 times 4 minus y equals 18. Cool. So what we end up with, we end up with 20 minus y equals 18. And therefore, when we solve this, we take 20 off both sides, we end up with negative two, so y is equal to two. 
20 minus 2 is equal to 18. So if I'm going to actually put that in a different colour, we have our second variable here that is y is equal to 2. All right, cool. Now what we do is we have x equals 4, we have y equals 2. We substitute these into one of our original equations and we're going to find out what z equals. So let's go through and do that. I'm just going to write out this entire equation again. So we have 3x plus 2y. This is equation 1 minus z equals 11. All right, so what do we do when we work this one out? Uh, 3x, well, x is equal to 4, so 3 4s are 12, plus 2y. 2 times 2 is equal to 4, minus z equals 11. Cool. 12 plus 4 is equal to 16, minus z equals 11. I reckon you'll be able to see what z equals. So 16 minus 5 is equal to 11, so z is equal to 5. We have our three variables here. We have x is equal to 4, we have y is equal to 2, and z is equal to 5. You can go through and sub these in just to check. You can go, okay, 2 times 4 is 8, minus 6 there, 2 minus 6 is 2, plus 5 is 7, so it's correct there. Uh, 20 plus 2 is 22, minus uh, 2 times 5, which is 10. Uh, 22 minus 10 is equal to 12. So go through, check, make sure it's okay, and that's how you solve it. We reduce from three equations with three variables down to two equations with two variables, and then down to one equation, one variable. Anyway, that's how you solve simultaneous equations using three variables and the elimination method. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.